Hi, it's Wayne from howtofish.com.au fishing the Maribyrnong River here. I'm at Brimbank Park. I've never fished here before but I know that there's carp in here and other species. Um, I'm using my camouflage gear and my camouflage hat and it's not so I can look ridiculous it's just simply because I'm so close to where I'm fishing. I've only cast in a couple of rod lengths out because the river here it's only about five meters across so it's not wide and it's certainly not deep. I'm estimating now it's probably about a meter and a half deep maybe even less than that. So I've got to be quiet, I've got to sit quietly and I've got to watch my rods because everything's so close I've got to act very very quickly. We'll see. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just basically I'm going to prepare the area while I'm setting up my gear. Before I even put a line in I'm just going to prepare an area or two areas actually for fishing. So these are my blood and guts pellets so what I'll do is I'm just going to prepare one area directly out there to there and I'm going to prepare another area to my further left. Uh, then I have two areas set up for fish. So just a couple in there and then just a couple in here. Now they're fairly close together but what it's going to do is just start to bring fish into the area as I'm setting up. So even if it takes me 15 minutes to set everything up that burly is doing the the business for me and I'm really set, set up a couple of pieces of corn on there I know pretty much <laughs> that there's definitely carp in here so that'll be my target and I'm not casting out far at all so just over to about there okay let that sink okay and set it up and okay got something happening now just little pulls on the rod. And I, I've got so much gear today, I didn't bring my net. Silly me. So we'll just see what I can do with this. <laughs> I don't know, if I had a net I could get him out now, but um, I can't. I don't have my net. Oh, he's a fair size. Wow. He's even bigger than I thought originally. I reckon he's about four kilos or so. Okay, this is uh, this is going to be interesting. I'm not sure what to do with this. I'm going to have to lift him out once he tires. Oh, oh, he's got a dodgy eye too. Look at that. Not a small fish. By any means. Well, this one's got a funny eye, red eye. There we go. It's a better shot. Ah. Just had a very, very light bite on this. Um, something just pulled the line. I've got the line a little bit slack so that uh, the fish have got a little bit of slack line to play with, get a bit of confidence when picking up the bait. And it's just had a little pull on it and then stop. Now sometimes that can be an eel or it could be some fish that has just um, moved by and hit the line. So I'll wait for that to develop. Okay. Whoa. Okay, now he knows he's alive. Ah. This is another be another carp for sure but I went with small hooks and that because I was thinking that there'd be small fish in here most likely I think I was wrong uh, he's on, oh no he's still on so let's see what I've got here
Wow, that's very dark on top. It's right down here in front of me. Yeah, they're not they're decent sized fish. There he is. Look at that. Another one I'm not sure how I'm gonna get out. Lost him again. My god, what's happened? Let's check this. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, look at that. Now this is, that's a, that's a decent carp. Have a look at the size of the scale on that. Wow, I'm surprised. Look at that. I just dropped uh, this one in. Got a couple of little tags on it. And I've got a, ah, oh, rightio. Okay, so now I think that's a, a silver perch. Or a Macquarie perch, one of the two. Well, how do you like that? Just put this one straight back. There we go. Ah, it's great to see. Um, I was using my cloud method for that, which is just a burly cage with the, the dry burly in it. So as it hits the water, it explodes out. Um, size, see, I've got a size 10 hook on this one and I had a couple of maggots. I've been in, I've been, uh, been going between maggots and little pieces of worm, but I caught that, that guy on these little maggots. Yeah, he's got a bit of go on him. I'm back winding rather than using the drag on this rod. Got him. Without falling in. Oh. Big fish. Big fish. Having a go at this rod, I was just setting the other rod up and now something's come here. So I'd just thrown a little bit more of the uh, burly pellets out. The blood and guts burly pellets out. Oh, there's a fish moving over there as well. So there's a few things happening here. Just the right time of the day, preparing the area with burley and things that they uh, they want to eat, and attracting them to your bait. Well, I've just picked the rod up because something has been just pulling at this very gently. Um, it could be just a. It'll, it'll be a small fish of some sort, but I just wonder if I could actually strike into it. Well, I'm into one. This is probably a small fish, I think. What is it? Just put it on a worm. Oh, nice. Okay. Oops. I think these are. Golden perch. Yeah, nice one. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And for any of the gear and tactics I'm using, go to my website, howtofish.com.au. See you next time.